Hey guys, it's Deja. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're new here or haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm sorry I didn't upload last week. It's my mom's birthday, so I had no time to film or edit. So that's why we're only doing a video this week. So I'm really sorry. If you haven't already read the title of this video, today I'm going to be doing aesthetic Pinterest DIYs because I'm in the process of kind of redoing my room but like not like drastically just a little bit so I feel like it would be nice to have some personal things in here or things that I made um yeah so that's what we're gonna do today I hope you enjoyed this video if you do please like this video comment on it if you want or not it's your choice um <laughs> Anyway, let's just get into the video already. Like, I hate long intros, so we're just gonna get right. First aesthetic DIY, I'm doing a little uh, trinket dish, is that what they're called? I thought I'd do a little voiceover just to go through the steps of what I'm doing, even though you can clearly see what I'm doing. I started off with kneading the clay just to get it like nice, added some water, definitely recommend doing that so it's easier, and then I just flattened it out to the size I wanted my dish to be. I wanted it to be a little bit imperfect, that's why I didn't use a rolling pin, but you could, totally could if you wanted it to be like really neat, but I thought it would add more um, character. And then I just took the little excess piece of clay that I cut off earlier and just rolled that out because that's going to go around the edge now so that not only does it have a nicer finish on the side, it'll just like give it a little bit of a heightened edge. Can I swear that? I really don't know, man. I can't speak today. I'm tired. Um, <laughs> so it just, it will make it look a bit better. Also to make sure that things just don't go rolling off the dish tray thing. Um, yeah, I used a little tool that I found in my house just to uh, like attach it together because I wasn't really sure how to do that but I kind of just like scraped the clay down and then like used some water on my fingers to like smooth it out. It worked. I really had no idea what I was doing anymore so yeah then I just kind of cleaned the sides, the edges, used water to smooth everything out and um, yeah, then I used another piece of the little excess I left earlier to roll out again. But this time I rolled it a lot thinner because this is going to be the detailing. And um, I think I kind of referenced this off of a painting I actually... Well, not a painting. It was kind of more of just a piece of art, I guess, I did um, a while back for my mom. And it was a very similar style, I think... To me, it reminds me a lot of Picasso's paintings, I think. Very, like, simple, minimalist. Anyway, I like it. I'm actually kind of, like, mad at myself that I didn't just do one eye. I think it would have looked a lot nicer. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, right? I decided to paint it. I painted it kind of like a, I was going for a very light, like almost terracotta type color, but I en it ended up being more of just like a brown, less terracotta. But I mean, I was fine with it. It's kind of just beige, but it looks cute, you know? And 
And then I um, used some gold paint I still had, even though it's not the gold I was hoping it was. I wanted it to be like a nice light gold, but I didn't have one. It was too late. I already put it on the thing, but plus I really did want to have like a little gold finish. So I just put that on all the little details, including the outside border. I put some gold. It looks really nice actually, like in the sun it sparkles, so it's, it's actually not bad. I just wish it were a little bit of a lighter gold, but eh, it's not that bad. Okay, for the next little DIY, I saw a lot of people make these really cute mushroom earrings and uh, I wasn't really sure what they made it out of, but I made them out of clay now. I attached these little two pieces I made and I attached it the same way I did the edge of my lost DIY and it worked really well actually, like I think it I didn't need to do anything else. I added little hooks on the top for where the earring pieces are gonna go. And then I painted the top red like a mushroom. And um, I put the white dots on. And that was literally it. They were so easy to do. They're so cute. And I'm actually really overall happy how they turned out. I think they're so cute. Okay, for my other, my next DIY, I made this little mushroom sculpture. Honestly, it was just because I had like leftover clay that I wanted to use. So I just made this little mushroom. I saw someone on TikTok make like a mushroom for like an incense burner, but I don't have any incense burner. So I just made a sculpture out of it with like an eye. I'll see if I can find the TikTok and I'll look put the link down below if you want to go check her out but uh yeah basically i just painted it red again and then i went in with some brown just to like give it some depth and shading and then around the eye i went in with some dark brown again i had to layer it on a couple times to really get it like dark i sure i went in with some black And then I made a green eye, added the spots and details, and I really like how it turned out. I think it's really cute. It's an old notion that I've known. It's a tear that I okay, for the next one, it's really hard to see, so I hope you can tell by the little doodle that I put on the screen. So for the next DIY, I wanted to make these little plant hanger rope thing. I don't know what to call it. I really have no idea. Anyway, I hope you can see what I'm doing. You can't really. Yeah, it's really easy actually. It just looks super complicated because like my arm's in the way. But um, yeah, it's really cute. Okay, so for the final aesthetic DIY, I've been seeing these everywhere, on Pinterest, on TikTok, everywhere. And they're so cute and I really wanted to try it for myself. Um, and it's like so easy too. So 
basically I just took a candle I'm really sad I couldn't find any colorful candles um, basically it's really easy all you need to do is put them in a vase of some sort or a gloss that just like fills or that's the same size and then fill it up with warm water not boiling and then you literally just let it soak in there 15 to 20 minutes I would say I'm really happy how it turned out and it was really easy so 